these are the two trucks I have. Um, this is what I'm going to start out with for my uh, electric truck. That's a, a 1979 Toyota, and the one next to it is a 78 Toyota. The 78 Toyota, it's actually just getting tore apart for parts. Um, I'm using the transmission out of it. I'll save the rear end, all the suspension and brake parts, all the stuff out of the inside. Uh, windshield wiper motor and all that stuff. All that stuff will interchange on this. And I'm going to save the wheels, too. Um, the 79, I'm actually going to strip it, uh, pull the motor out, pull the tranny out, uh, pull the bed off, strip the whole thing down, cut as many mounts off and brackets and everything to get the weight as low as possible. And then I'm going to weigh it. And uh, if the weight is not low enough, then I probably won't use them. I only paid 100 bucks for this one, and the uh, 78 was uh, free, so they were cheap enough. And uh, if I don't use those, then I have this other one, which is a 1978 Triumph Spitfire, which is, uh, um, it's plenty light enough. It's just, uh, I would rather do, I'd rather make a hot rod out of it or something, I think. But uh, this car was also free, so. I think they make a pretty good electric vehicle because they only weigh like 1,800 pounds or something. But that's what I'm trying to get the Toyota down to. Less than 2,000 uh, stripped. I'm hoping to get it down to 17. I don't know if I can get it that low or not. I'll go in the shop and show you my batteries. These are the battery chargers I ordered. <clears throat> I got these off of eBay. They're Schumachers. They're uh, 2812 amp. Um, they'll do a regular deep cycle, uh, AGM and gel. There's three settings on it. You can either show uh, show the volt or you can show uh, what percent of charge they are. I only paid uh, $18 a piece for them because I bought 10 of them. They're, uh, I guess they're open box, he said. They're probably like last year's model or something, or they're labeled different than their new ones. And these are uh, all my batteries. These are uh, um, gel cells I got from work. They're U out of a UPS. There's 28 of them, and they're all good. They're kind of old, but they all hold a good charge. Uh, they're holding a the charge at uh, over 13 volts, 13.1. Um, 13.5 uh, in between there these battery chargers I'm actually all this up here is all hollow so I'm probably going to cut them right here and make them just this small which is only about what four, 4 inches by 4 inches and then that way I can, I can put them all on a small board I may actually uh, have them on board, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is my motor I got. I got this off eBay. It's a 6.7 inch. It's a Clark forklift motor. It's new, brand new. Uh, eight brush, weighs about 93 pounds, I think. It's got that funky shaft. And what I'm gonna do is pull it apart. I'm gonna pull this, this housing off and maybe I might be able to machine this for a bigger bearing. And then I'll press a pl uh, plug over this key it and then press a plug over it and then I'll, I'll use a double bearing I'll put another bearing in here too to support it because I might have a flywheel on there probably I don't know yet and then this is my vacuum pump that's actually a medical pump for uh, out of the hospital it's got a gauge on it the only thing bad about it it pumps down really good um, the only thing bad about it is it's uh, 120 volt but it doesn't draw very many amps, so that's okay. I've got an inverter, so I'll put an inverter in there and run it off an inverter. I think the inverter uses about one amp, and then this, this here pulls about 10. So when it's running, it won't run except for when you hit the brakes. So, but it pumps down like right now. It pulls uh, 26 inches like right now. So it's a good pump, so it won't run very much. See ya.